Iowa done, New Hampshire next, neither state representative of the country. This much we can agree on. But both have outsized roles in every presidential election. And my question to the table is, is it time to change that? And, and Dominic, I'm sorry. Last night I'm watching this and I'm seeing the groups coalescing together. And I thought, you, me, any of the four of us, I go there, close the curtain, pull the lever, do whatever I got to do, hang a chat, whatever. <laughs> I want to pick a guy, I want to go home. The, the idea that I got to glow with Cletus and, uh, you know, and Billy Joe Bob here and try and convince one of them, you know, who they got to vote for. And then there's a tie and they're going to flip a coin. I'm like, what parallel universe is this? You know, it, to me, it was ridiculous and how Iowa is going to, so goes Iowa and New Hampshire. They live there for months at a time. And they're going to do lip service for the rest of the country after New Hampshire. It's going to be flybys, no more retail politics. Uh, Andrew had a great idea in the meeting. I don't want to steal from him where he said, rotate it. Make it, you know, instead of the Northeast one four-year cycle, the next year it should be the Southeast or the Midwest or the Pacific North, whatever. But it, 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 we've all been there covering these things. It, this is not America. Well, you telling me it ain't America and I've been, <laughs> <laughs> and I've been to Iowa and New Hampshire say, not many folks that look like me running around Iowa and New Hampshire. But anyway, Richard. I noticed that, yeah. You noticed yeah. that as well? Yeah. Been there, done that, the country. Every time different states try and move <coughs> up the election cycle, Iowa, that prides itself on being the first caucus, and New Hampshire on the first primary, they move their dates up even more. So no matter what other states do, Iowa and New Hampshire, they're not going to let this go. They got a good, I'm, I'm not, racket's not a good word, but they got a good racket going here in terms of press, first to first, and they're not going to let it go. It's they, as simple as that. They have state laws that force them to move up their date if somebody moves up their date in front of them. But you can defeat that by going through the parties. If the Democratic and Republican Party said, this is stupid and we want to change this, they would figure out a way to get a change. Look, I think the caucus is so outdated as a mode of casting votes. It's like an 18th century really? institution <laughs> that's languishing in the 21st century. And the Republican, at least on the Democratic side, the, the poor O'Malley supporters are like, you should really come over to ours. I, th I found that interesting, if not a little silly. The Republican side was you had a caucus and then you voted. So it was like having an election day, but you could the ballots, the polls were only open for two hours and you had to show up and spend the entire time there. Well, you know, uh, <laughs> actually the political parties, uh, can have enforced certain rules that have prevented other states from getting out ahead of Iowa and New Hampshire by creating this scheme where if you change your primary too soon, you lose the number of delegates you're gonna get to the respective Democratic or Republican convention. So the national parties have actually sort of weighed in on this already. They like this, as shocking really? as it is, they like this torture chamber, cruel <laughs> and unusual punishment, speaking as a former yeah. elected official, guy who had to run for office, it's cruel and unusual, but they said, we're gonna stick with this model. Again, it's only two and a half percent of the votes you need to win the convention in Iowa, so it's not a heck of a lot, and you gotta start somewhere, but the parties have decided they can live with this. And talk about, Andrew, your points are very well taken, these outdated notions. We still allow a state like Delaware to, to have two United States yeah. senators when New York State only gets two, and California only gets two. So don't get me started. I just did this civics civic stuff. Don't let me started on this I just did this whole civics thing with my kids who are studying it for school. They're like, we have relative, my wife's from Rhode Island. She's like, why does mom's state have two and, and New York's got two? That makes no sense, Dad. I'm like, uh, go back a couple hundred years and complain to them, you know? So I'm just, I'm with you, but, but it's... The, the whole schedule needs to be moved back. I mean, we're yeah. voting in February. Granted, that's later than we voted in previous cycles, it but is. it needs to be back later, back when it was in April or May or you begin the cycle. And the other thing is, I really think that if we rotated who went first, or at least rotated the other, the rest of the primary season so that... New England got some play one year, and then the Southeast got some play, and then the Northwest got some play. I mean, ethanol would not still be used in the United States if it weren't for the Iowa caucuses. I can't figure out what New Hampshire is, but maybe we would have a smaller market in maple syrup. Yes. But, I, but you know, the parties have the ability to change that, and they've decided not to change it. One other piece of bad news, the conventions are now going to be in July. Yeah. 
Right. So we're going to have the, for the Democratic and National and Republican National Conventions will be in July. Oh, we'll so talk about in, uh, an attenuated, yeah. we'll drawn out in campaign. Right in July. We're yeah, going to be nice. back here a lot. By the way, we joke around. Neither one of us is winning this time. No, Philly and no. Cleveland. All right. Uh, coming up next, Donald Trump about to score another big name endorsement. The question though is, how much does it really help anymore nowadays? Anyway, are endorsements ever that big a factor? So it's.